How you going? It's Cartridge Game Geeks here. That's Justin. At least last time you checked. <laughs> and that is Trent. Most certainly is. And today we're going to be doing a collection video. Show you people on YouTube what we've got. Or what he's got, really. What I have. Yeah. It's not a lot, but I have it. <laughs> oh, duh! Well, um, keep in mind that I don't buy off the internet. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. So, everything I've got has been found within my local area at second hand shops, thrift stores, and Goodwill, those type of stores. But, anyway, let's, let's show. Take a look into the world. <laughs> That's a lot. Yes. Get this little bugger down. Alright. All right. Start off, we just got my um, Mario figurines. Yes, I bought them from a shop. <laughs> they, they, they look pretty cool. What are the little numbers on the side of the packets? Um, they're um, series numbers. Oh, so they release more than one series. Why well, they would is beyond me. <laughs> Alright. Now let's move on to the consoles. First yep. console we've got here is my Atari 2600 Junior. Oh, it's so cute. I have two of these. One's a backup. This is my main one. And then move down, we've got my NES hooked up with a Hess Uni adapter. Let's, let's get the Hess Uni adapter. Yeah, what's it do? Um, it allows you to play carts from America and Japan. You simply plug your PAL cart in here and then you got your Japanese cartridge and your American. Or if you need an excuse to make a NES look like a freak. Well that's why I have my one that doesn't have the uni adapter. I'll just move that chain. Just sitting there so if I don't want it to look like that, and I can't be far taking this off, because you got to take that down the front, open that, and then you got to pop it out, and it just looks like a messed up cartridge like the rest of the... Oh, let me get this. <laughs> looks like the rest of the Hess library. library. And, and if you checked out uh, our pickups vid that we put up, You'll notice what they look like, and they look all weird and stuff. <laughs> Thank good, you. Sure. Good, for, good for jokes, that's oh. for sure. Sorry, guys. Oh, by the way, they're a bitch to get in, too. If you're trying to do it one-handed, <laughs> anyway. One-handed, sorry, there. Never never do that sort of stuff one-handed. That's our <laughs> pro tip of the day. Then we've got the Nintendo 64. Yep, we had to. Sorry. <laughs> and then, moving back, we have my... My game box, yeah, which has a TV built into it. Yeah, top rung we've got the Master System. Actually, top rung, we, top rung we got the Mega Drive. Oh, yeah, Mega Drive, then the Master System in here. And then down the bottom we have a Super Nintendo. And the and the Master System can do uh, AV as yeah. opposed to the RF box, yeah. right? I've done an AV mod on it. Yeah, then moving across into here. We've got the NES games up the back. Not very many. Would like to have more. Some of them are US carts. Some of them are PAL. Then I've got my my um, 2600. If you look up the back, if you look up the back, there's Atlantis, oh. and we thought that was Atlantis too, unfortunately. It's not. I actually haven't seen this version online anywhere, but. But hey, it's got a weird shape in it. It's, it's, cool. it's different, and we like things that are different. We do. And down here we've got the Super NES up the back. And the cartridge over there is for the Game Boy. Plug your Game Boy games into it. That's pretty cool. You've got your 64 games. Oh, oh who's that? One's that Duke Nukem. Hey, hey, I got reacquainted with you recently. Then we've got the, the Master System games. Doubled up, of course. I'm going to have to make it so the back ones are raised up a bit. And then we've got down the very bottom, the uh, Mega Drive. Once again, doubled up and the loose carts sitting just there. You know, Sonic and Knuckles, love that game. We've got the Master Mega Converter. 
and Shaq Fu. <laughs> oh god. Uh, but yeah, that's basically my collection and setup. Cool. I um I made that entire box for my system that like my TV to sit in. Oh, the back here I've got my AV switcher and then the other cut the other machines are going through the I just plug in the front there. But yeah, that's my setup. If you got any questions on where did that chain go? If you got any questions on um what games I actually have, I will write them all down in Word and I'll put that list up somewhere so you can access it. And if an, I reckon if enough people ask, you should put it in the, in the uh, description of the video. There, there's way too many games put in the description. Oh, well. If they want to know, they'll they'll find I'll it. I'll put it somewhere, either on a Nintendo Age or on one of my other forums that I'm on. But, yeah, that's the setup. If you want to know anything about my my box or anything like that, just private message me. Alright. Short and sweet today. Um, but yeah, check out the collection vid. I got a couple... Uh, not the collection, the yeah. finds and pickups vid. I yeah. got some pretty cool finds in there the other day. Yeah, and we'll sh and we're going to be sharing that with you guys. There's right. going to be a link either on the screen or down there somewhere. We'll put a link to that and oh, we'll put a, a link here in front of Justin's head. Yeah, you're going to blank me out. <laughs> That'll be for... The, the collections vid and we'll put a, a link just here over my face to Ninja Gaiden Ninja Gaiden and on Monday we will have a new upload the format format of our videos is going to be slightly different, it's going to be a bit more upbeat and not as long and boring yeah so that's it, no more rambling and we are the Cartridge Game Geeks that is Justin, that is Trent and uh, do I have to do my signature line? Pete soon. <laughs> <laughs> right, catch you later, everyone.